When it comes to making money from home, have you ever wondered how much money you can make? If so, you're not the only one. While some people work from home for companies, others choose a freelance lifestyle that essentially enables them to set their price for their services. Some of these people, believe it or not, are making a minimum of $500 per day. Can you imagine what life would be like if you made $500 per day? That's $15,000 per month. It can improve your life dramatically, making it possible for you to live the lifestyle you desire. Now I know what you're thinking, it sounds too good to be true. But in today's video, I'm here to prove nine ways to make $500 per day from the comfort of your own home. Number one on the list, Spotify playlist. Now everybody in the world loves music, right? If you don't, comment below. But I know everyone in the world loves music. And if you listen to Spotify, there's other ways to make money there besides being an artist and a producer. Have you ever seen playlists out there that have a lot of followers, a lot of listeners, and have really good music, even new music on there? Well, did you know these people, these playlist curators, make money to promote other people's music? For example, I'm a musician, right? I'm in the music industry. When I was first starting off, I wanted to get exposure and more listeners to promote my music. So I would reach out to these playlist curators, these, these people that own these playlists that had uh, a lot of listeners, a lot of followers per playlist. And some of these people would charge up to $500 daily for me to promote my song, for me to put my music on their playlist. It's kind of crazy, right? But it's a way to promote your music and get it out there. So the first step is building a playlist and gaining followers. You gotta utilize social media, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, IG. You gotta create an online brand image of yourself. You don't even have to put your true self online. You can create a character for yourself. Now, if thousands of people follow your playlist, the potential to earn big is definitely there. So build yourself a playlist, grow that playlist, grow the followers, reach out to artists, new artists, even solidified artists. There's a lot of new artists out there that want to promote their music and that's a great way of doing so. And just to dive into a little more, there's also playlist curators out there that don't have their own playlists. They know of playlists, if that makes any sense. So they'll know like five great playlists and they'll be like, hey, let's call you Joe. Hey Joe, I can get you in these five playlists. They already have an established relationship to these playlist creators. Joe, I'm gonna charge you $500 per day to be on all these five playlists. Your music's gonna be promoted and there's gonna be potential new listeners. I put your song on all these five playlists. I give a little cut to the people that created this playlist and I get my fee. You see what I'm saying? So there's ways to go about it. Number two on the list, digital downloads, digital products. Lots of people are making more than $500 per day selling digital downloads and products. You don't have to spend any money or have a physical product to sell. Look, for example, people on Etsy sell crochet patterns, homeschooling printables, and even digital art. This would be a good time to think about a unique skill that you have. If you worked at a bank, think about budgeting tools, cash flow spreadsheets, etc. Or if you worked in food processing, you could create grocery list templates, meal prep planners, etc. While Etsy is one platform to sell digital goods and products, you can also use Amazon by creating ebooks, printable coloring books, daily journals, and so much more. Even if you don't have much experience, you can use tools such as Canva, which is a great beginning software for free to start creating these digital products that may sell up to hundreds of times a day. Let, let me give you another example. Let's say you're a fitness person, right? Personal trainer, online trainer, whatever you want to call yourself on TikTok, on IG. You can create ebooks for your followers that they can purchase. Literally ebooks on nutrition and proper eating and diet or your workout regimen. And you can sell that so many times per day. When you post a video of you working out or giving somebody a tip via TikTok and IG and people go to your page and they like your physique and they're like, hey, let me check his stuff out. Click the link. Oh, he has some ebooks on how to eat proper, how to have a body like this person. And then it just sells on digital products, digital products and digital downloads. Number three on the list, teaching English. Even if you don't have a teaching degree, you can still get paid big bucks to teach English to people from other countries that are willing to learn. There are many companies available. Some require a degree, some don't. VipKid, iTutor Group, and QKids, there are three of the dozens of companies that hire free freelancers virtually to teach English. Not only can teaching English pay well, it can be super rewarding to work with people from around the globe that struggle to speak English. Now, if you do well, you get good reviews. More students will wanna work with you, meaning you can up your rates and charge higher prices. Soon, you'll be able to make up to $500 per day teaching English in just a few hours. Number four on the list to make $500 per day, 
renting out your car. Do you have a car that you don't use often? If so, rent it out and get paid. There's several services out there like Turo and Hirecar, both to enable people to provide their cars to individuals that need to rent cars. You know, whether it's for a few hours or a few days. Some of you guys probably already know what it is, but you never really tried it. You don't need a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a supercar to make $500 per day renting out cars. Think of it as something similar to Airbnb, but for cars. This can be perfect for people that travel a lot, live in major cities, or live in a household with multiple cars that you don't really use. You may not need to use your car every single day, and renting it out for a portion of the month while you travel or take public transport can create some serious passive income. I have a buddy that rents his cars out, and he doesn't have the Lambos, the supercars. He has cars like Camrys and Honda Accords that rent out all the time. Uh, something you guys wanna consider and explore, then be my guest, but there is a lot of money to be made to rent your cars out. You can even turn it into a business. Number five on the list, real estate photography. Real estate professionals are always looking for skilled photographers, videographers to take pictures and videos of properties that they wanna sell to buyers. High quality images that bring these properties to life can help real estate agents boost their sales. So if you have a professional camera, and some photography skills, put those skills to good use by connecting to some real estate agents and offering to take their photos of their listings for a set fee. The real estate market is huge into word of mouth. If you get a few happy clients, your referral network will almost be endless. Plus, real estate agents are constantly turning over new leads. The same real estate agent that you're working with can have dozens of homes that needs photography all within a few weeks. And as a freelancer, you can charge as much as you want, up to $500 per day. Number six on the list, consulting. Virtual consultants are making big money nowadays. How can you start consulting and making $500 per day? First thing you gotta do is select your niche based on your expertise and skills. If you're not sure where to begin, make a list and jot down all the skills that you've learned over the years from the jobs that you worked at. Or even list what you were really good at growing up. If you worked at a grocery store, you may have mastered the art of customer service and even conflict management. Next thing you wanna do is create a website for yourself. Strengthen your online presence by creating a Facebook, TikTok, IG, Twitter, all the socials. Post content on your social media that resonates with potential consumers and gaining a loyal following. A perfect example is, let's say you've been in the finance industry for a while, right? Uh, maybe 10 years in the banking industry and you have this immense knowledge of finance. Use that knowledge to create content, build your brand image, talk about tips and tricks, bring value to people, educate people, build your online socials. You could be a financial consultant, you know what I mean? You can charge a minimum of $500 per session. Number seven on this beautiful list, freelance writing. Of course it helps to have a passion for writing. If you don't like writing, this might not be the ideal opportunity for you. However, if you enjoy writing and have a knack for writing, or at least know the basics, you can turn it into a very profitable and successful career. There's many brands and businesses out there that are looking for exceptional writers. You can advertise your services on platforms like Fiverr, Contra, and Legit, and you can set your prices based on skills, expertise, and the scope of a specific project. Look, although beginner writers don't make $500 per day, you can still get to that point. And if you already have the experience, start writing a few samples and add it to your portfolio and begin networking on various platforms like LinkedIn. Now, if you connect with the right people and showcase your talent as a writer, you can earn up to $500 per blog post or even more. Now, this may sound a lot for a single post, but people are willing to pay professional prices for high quality writing for exceptional results. Now, if writing isn't your thing, here's number eight on the list, flipping items. What does it mean to flip an item? You're buying these items at a lower price at a thrift store, for example, upgrading them and then selling it for a higher price. It's a lot like buying and flipping houses, but it's much less time consuming. You may be surprised, but people are actually doing this for a living and making a lot of money. If you're not sure what to do, start with simple items, such as a small end table, for example. You buy this end table at a deeply discounted price. If it needs a little bit of work, modernize it, sand it down, paint it, maybe add some new hardware, giving it a unique appearance. And then once you enhance the appearance, you can post it for sale on sites like Etsy, eBay, OfferUp, even Instagram. While some people do this as a side hustle, others have turned it into their full-time job making way more than $500 per day. Although 
Although you can buy and flip items, you can also seek out valuable items at the thrift stores, flea markets, and local garage sales to find hidden gems. And obviously you can sell as is for a significantly higher price. Honestly, it's worth the try. If you haven't done it already and it's something that interests you, why not? Number nine on the list, social media. Whether you start a YouTube, whether you start a TikTok, put the work into it, create content, build your brand, build a loyal following. If you're on YouTube, you will get AdSense revenue that can make you more than $500 per day. Or if you're on TikTok, you can get brand deals that will pay you more than $1,200, $1,500 per brand deal. Maybe three, four, five thousand, depending on your following, depending on your engagement. You can even get brand deals on YouTube that can make you more than $500 per day. It's important to understand that it's not gonna happen overnight. You gotta really water the seed, water the plant, watch it grow, be disciplined and stay consistent. Keep posting, treat it like a business. Nowadays you can make content about anything. People are making content about crickets. People are making content about reading other people's secrets. Like it's endless. But yeah, those are my nine ways of making $500 per day. It is obtainable, achievable. The question is, which one of you guys and girls are willing to try one of these? Once again, thanks for watching the video. Please like it, consider subscribing. We're always posting on here heavy. Thank you for watching. You tell me I saw you, you name. But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? I treat you like one I don't want And you know I'm just so hard to please I lie to your face to get what I want, babe